was fine. I mean, I practiced yesterday, so it's just for precaution. You know, it's just to come away until the small one goes all the way down. That's probably it. Coach said that um, he thinks you're in better condition than this time last year, but not as good as you were at the end of last year. Is you bring it down? Um, I mean, he's the coach. He calls the shots. I feel pretty good. I mean, we uh, scrimmaged at the sports arena the other day, and that was my first time out there, and I felt pretty good out there. Um, you know, running up and down, you know, chasing the guy. So, I mean, I feel pretty good, but he's a big coach, so I'm just listen and, you know, whatever he has to say, I'll listen and, you know, try to hear like that. Where do you think you're? I feel like I'm the same where I was last year. I mean, you know, we're practicing now, and you know, I'm just trying to get this all the way back before you know we start you know, moving forward. You guys have had several kind of minor injuries or just you know day to day kind of thing. Do you kind of feel like you haven't really seen what what this team is yet? Well, yeah, because I mean, for instance, Stowe has been out, you know, with the shoulder. DN, for instance, hasn't really got you know emulated in our system because he's only been able to practice five times. You know, he got a concussion and hurt his legs, and you know, right now we're just doing you know the best of what we have. And you know, with those two players out, you know, those are two scholarship players that are going to get minutes. So you know, we're just trying to um, work on our defense and just trying to find ways to score easy. Do you have a do you have a target of twenty minutes a game? Um, one play at least. I think me and Coach Allen decided at least 28, 29, 30-ish. How many did you get to the scrimmage? I don't even know, to be honest. I mean, we couldn't even keep score. It wasn't really anything too official like that. I mean, I have really no idea how many minutes I played, but it, it was quick. Coach was talking about the difference in size of the floor at the men's arena and just where you guys are going to be going on. Is that an issue for you guys? Is that an issue for you at all? Um, I mean, not really. I mean, we can let that. I mean, we can let that use as an excuse. But last year we played in Poly the whole year, you know, full court. It's different now because SAC is so much smaller, yeah. you know, than the actual, you know, court. So it's kind of easy sometimes, you know, to be like, oh well, you know, we feel conditioned, you know, in SAC, but you know, we go over to sports arena and then it's like you know, the court's that much longer. But you know, that shouldn't be an excuse because by the time the season starts, we'll be in good. Good enough condition. What was your impression to the sports arena? I don't like it, to be honest. It's terrible. What, what's wrong with it? It's old. It's 10 yards from the Coliseum. Like, we're playing on the Sparks court. The Sparks court's still out there. Like, <laughs> I, it was it was funny because when we were going over there, I was just I didn't know what to expect. Cause I mean, I've just heard about it, I've never seen it, I've never been there. And then like when we walked in, it was like I felt like we were on the set for like a Hoosiers movie or something, like in the 1980s or something. Like it just, it just seemed old. Like you look up and it's like Miller Lite and like old. And it's like oh wow, like, this is what we're calling home. So I mean, you got to deal with it. You guys obviously kind of had some time to conceptualize it, like, okay, this is where we're going to play. You've known it for a while, but was it kind of a rude awakening? Kind of, is, that, is that what you're kind of saying? It was, because, I mean, it's, it's just different. You know, you sit on the chairs in the locker room, and it's like dust and dirt's coming off the chairs, and it's just like, you know, we're in SC's old gym. And, you know, it, 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 what really threw me off was, because I knew it was close, I didn't know it was that close to their campus, because, like, I remember we're pulling up, and I'm like, the Coliseum's right there. Like, where are we going? And then it's like, the Los Angeles Sports Marina, like right there. And I'm just like, oh, okay. You know, this is a nice location. Like, I mean, <laughs> like, I mean, we're going to have to, you know, I can complain all I want, but that's what we're playing, so. Your banners are in SC territory. Are you worried about some frat guys maybe going in there and then grabbing those? No, frat guys can do whatever they want. I mean, I can only, it was kind of funny too, because when we showed up there, they had a big SC banner still on the sports arena, and it's like, this is our home gym, you yeah. know, like, and with that, you know, they can do whatever they want. That's not going to have any effect on us. No, like, if they take our banner, we'll just put up another could, could it, Could it in some ways kind of have a the opposite effect in a way, kind of bring you guys closer at all, sort of seeing all that kind of stuff around you, sort of make you feel like you have to make it your own? Well, yeah, but like just like Coach Allen said, I mean, every game for us is a road game, you know. Um, Pauly is really being transformed right now, you know, it's looking really good, but we can't play there. And, you know, we have 14 games at the sports arena. We have four games in Anaheim, and then we have one in uh, Ontario. You know, Ontario, when we play our exhibition. So, I mean, we're going to be traveling all the time, but I think that'll probably make us come closer and help us out for the road games. Your coach said uh, the, the, the biggest way that you guys can take advantage of, of David Ware or Travis's Ware 
uh, size advantage at the three would be to post them up. We also have you and Reeves. Is it going to be difficult to get all you guys those touches in the post? No, I mean, you know, we have me, we have Reeves, we have the twins, you know, we have me, Lane, and Stove, and, you know, little practices, you know, um, just in the scrimmages and stuff. With all of our touches, you know, are, you know, they're all numbered, they're all, you know, everybody's getting enough touches. I mean, with them, they have the luxury of posting up or, you know, going around the wing. Yeah. So it could be one of those where it's like, let's say me and Dave and Trevor and, you know, like me and Trevor probably on the block. But, you know, if like, let's say I come out, you know, maybe Dave can go and post up. Maybe I have a mismatch. But what really is going to help us is, you know, if Dave's playing the three, a lot of times he's going to have a guy who might be 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, I mean, we're playing full of 10 of the guys who's like 6'3". Yeah. So, I mean, we're having a lot of matchup problems. What, what exactly happened here? Um, we were playing, we were scrimmaging, and no, it was after the scrimmage we were practicing, and I went up for offensive rebound, and I just landed on Reeves' foot, and just kind of just swelled up, and then I just kind of took two days off of practice, and then just came back. So you practice, you practice yesterday? I practiced yesterday, yeah. How's it feel? I mean, it still hurts a little bit, but I'll be fine. I mean, I'll be fine for the first game. I mean, it's just getting better. I'm going to treatment every day, so. Practice today? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Unless I'm not, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thanks. Thanks, man.